Yo, 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 what up? It's your boy Major Kaidan. I just did a little test here to make sure my vocals were working because on this one I recorded the same video and it did not work um, because, well, it just didn't. So then on this one I started recording and I realized things were messed up. So uh, we'll just. Uh, We'll just get back to business. It showed my address on a letter or something, so I had to hide it. So it's kind of funny. But that's kind of the funny part about doing stuff in your house because it's nice and casual and it makes people be able to see, like, yo, this dude lives in, like, a nice house and he's, like, living with his mom because he's got schizophrenia. And I guess the Lord just planned it this way because it works out totally perfect. So I don't really know. It really is perfect. But I'm Mesha Kaidan. Let me close this out real quick if I can get it. I'm using the hand tracking. It's kind of fun, but it's kind of wiggly. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Let's get this. This is a fun game right now. It's a fun game. Oh, come on, come on. Do what I need you to do. Come on. Whatever then. Whatever. Oh, come on. You silly little hand tracking. Why aren't you working when I tell you to work? There we go. All right, so it's your boy, Mesha Kaidan. All right, that's my dog, Winnie. And then where's Walter, bud? Ayla? There's Walter. He's coming. He's a coming. That's a water boy. That's a water boy. He's so beautiful. Look at him. He's a handsome boy. He's a handsome boy. All right, I love you, buddy. Kato, Kato, Kato. Cooper, come here. Come here, Coop. Cooper, Ayla? Yeah, there's Cooper, bud. He's got to wear a diaper because he pees in the house and he poops all the time. But he's just a silly boy. He never wants to go outside. Even if you let him outside, he just goes in the potty in the house. So anyway, come here, Cooper Bud. He's scared of everything. He's scared of everything, but he loves us. He loves us. He just don't understand too much. He was a rescue. Well, we've had him for years, but he's still kind of scared and timid. Like something scares him all the time. He don't really understand too much. He gets pretty comfortable. You might climb up in my lap. But anyway, let's get down to business. <clears throat> I am your boy, Mesha Kaidan. All right? So up there is my niece and nephews on the wall. With some paintings my sister and my mom did. That little fl family thing that has all our names right there and those little jigsaw puzzles. I'll show you that one. That'll be fun. Doesn't have my dad because he passed away years ago, but like niece, nephews, and oh, I guess it does have dad. I thought it didn't have dad in there. All right, I didn't know. I guess I never paid close enough attention. But it's got all of us, all the whole family in there. Except for my brother Bradley. He's not in there because uh, he's not biological, but everybody accepts him as a brother now. And um, I always did because he was my best friend first. So, you know, my sisters are just silly. So now all the kids call him Uncle Bradley. Uncle Bradley. Uncle Bradley. All right. So, what we're doing today is we are recording this video and these are always casual it's like fun for me and it's fun for you guys i hope but we're gonna get down to business first thing i have to tell you every video i gotta say this mesa kaidan is a language that i came up with not not the language it's a word i came up with in my language that means the full armor of god and uh, i thought that was a perfect name uncle bradley helped me figure out my name he said what about the full armor of god wouldn't that be a cool name i was like honestly it is but uh bradley you dumb little bitch. I, I said to him i said that's not a good name uh the full armor of god is not like a name i need a name so i just dreamed up one i thought hmm i need a word that's a name and i said mesha kaidan i wrote it down everybody sees how it's spelled if they see the channel but it's your boy, Mesha Kaidan. And yes, I smoke cigarettes, but kids, do not ever smoke a cigarette. And if you do smoke a cigarette, rebuke the spirit of nicotine so it don't attack you and make you want to be addicted. Because that's stupid. All right? So I rebuke the spirit of nicotine all the time so I don't become addicted again. And I'll just smoke them if it sounds nice. All right? So if it feels pleasant, it's a good medicine. It helps you calm down and relax if you have anxiety. There's lots of spirits that attack. It just happens. It's life. All right? So let me just stop i'll just stop talking about that today we'll hit it up some other time in a different video but for today we're doing something fun all right we're learning about controllers the touch pro controllers we're getting down to business i ain't gonna tell you when to hop to this uh in the timeline i just want you to see the whole thing you just gotta watch maybe you'll skip ahead maybe you won't maybe you watch the whole thing but let me stop rambling and just get to it so you know you see those little dots now there's 
it looks like they're dwindling down kind of like uh, my batteries are starting to die a little bit you can kind of tell that in the little LED so you click them together the controllers turn off that's how you start doing hand tracking hand tracking is kind of hard but uh, it works all right if you can figure it out and I'm not very good at it yet and the hand tracking is kind of silly so I think you have to hold your hand more like this maybe I'm not really sure but I'm trying to hit that browser to get us there you know what I ain't even doing hand tracking today so you pick them up you wiggle them a little bit they turn right back on all right what we're gonna do today is good well that was some good music that was some real good music but I can't have it play in this video because then I'll get in trouble all right, so we're going back to this page just so I have something to show you. All right, so when you're testing your controllers, all right, here's my controllers. When I'm testing my Touch Pro controllers and I want to make sure they're working, here's what you do. Hey, water button, you got to be quiet. I'm making a video, okay? Go, Narisi. Go. Go. Go, Narisi. Come on. All right, there we go. That's how you be gentle with a dog, just so you know. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so here's the Touch Pro controllers. The first thing you want to test is the tracking. That's how you do this. So you pick up the controllers, you put them up in front of you, you put them wherever you want to maybe see them, you maybe don't, you don't really care, but you test. So I'm going to move the right controller to that Jamili Rose uh, smoking, drinking, and a wake up call thing that with the yellow border. So I'm moving my right controller to it. Now I'm going to pull it away and I'm move my left controller to it. I'll pull it away. Now I'm going to move it to the red roses that are right next to it. Move it to it, pull it away, move it to it, pull it away. Now I'll move it to my sister and me dancing at her wedding. That's Erica. So move it to it, pull it away, move it to it, pull it away. All right, so now you see this is how you test controllers, all right? So they're moving well, all right? And you can do like little crisscrosses. You can make a circle and a circle, make sure it's all working good. You can draw a little square just to make sure everything's working well, whatever you want to do. You just got to make sure they're working right. You can do a little trace around the circle and make this one chase the other one, and it's kind of funny, and you just do your little thing. It don't really matter. Now you know they're tracking. You know your tracking's good. Now if the tracking is off, you know that you need to reset your controllers, and we'll get to that in a minute. All right, so that's what you need to know. You have to reset these controllers, and we'll get to that in just a minute. All right, so the next thing you want to do is test your Bluetooth connection. So if the controllers still aren't working, you want to test your Bluetooth connection. All right, the way you do that, you see that little button that looks like a little controller right there? This one right here, can't really point to it because you don't see it with the controller there. But it's that one that looks like a little controller, the little swiggly that looks like the infinity sign. All right, so you hold that down. I'll look over here on the side. All right, you hold that down. And if it moves or you get a, a haptic sensation in the controller, which is just like a vibration or something like that. That's what haptic gloves kind of do at this point. Soon haptic gloves will have more sensation than that. But uh, that's what they're working on and stuff. It's really exciting. I can't wait for some of that stuff. But uh, this will allow you to tell and see. Okay, I'll try it again. All right, Bluetooth connection is working just fine. All right, it's working just fine. All right, because it reset and I got the haptic um I got the haptic feedback in my controller. I felt I felt the vibration in my hand. So that's how you do it with that little button right there, that little controller. I don't know what it's called, that little button. I don't know what it's called, um, but we'll see uh, if I can start learning the buttons, names, and everything because um, they all have a different purpose. So um, what we're going to do then is if it's still not working, then maybe your battery's dead. So if you look, you see that this battery right here it shows that it's down one little dot so that means my battery's probably at like 80 percent or 75 percent or something like that and that's probably about where it's at so my controllers are starting to lose some battery power i haven't even changed the battery since i got the MetaQuest 3 but that's how that works so you know that you need to recharge your controllers get new batteries or whatever in them just in case that little dot those dots are down that means your controller's dead all right your controller's dead and uh, that's how you know that you need to recharge them your batteries and stuff so that could be another reason why the controller is not working is the batteries are dead and you can tell by those little dots that's how that works on both the controllers all right so the next thing you're gonna do if the controllers still aren't working and uh, 
you have tested those things and you know it's not the batteries and you are guessing it's the tracking and you're like all this and all that all right so what you're going to do is you're going to reset the controllers because we already figured that out so that's this step so that button that little controller button that's the flat one on the controller and on the left controller the left touch pro controller you're going to see those little three little stripes right there you see them three little stripes all right so you're going to press those at the same time and then reset the controllers all right and you press them at the same time i'll do it one more time just for you to see so i press both those buttons all right i reset the controllers and my controllers were fine so it doesn't didn't really matter but i reset the controllers that's how you reset them it's like a manual restart it just resets the controllers all right so now i can move this back to where i want my controllers are reset i got a little haptic feedback in the controllers um got the screen to move it's just a reset in the controllers all right that's just what happens um, i don't know if the screen will always move if the controllers are uh, actually malfunctioning and they need to be reset if they're not working but there's lots of reasons why they wouldn't work like mine wouldn't turn off when uh when i tried to turn them off they wouldn't turn off and then you just shake them they turn back on simple as that and that's it all right now the last step all right and i didn't make a video for this i'm not going to that's not what i'm doing i'm making stuff on the meta and uh, doing stuff like that on the meta quest 3 that's what i'm doing so the next step if that all fails and you cannot get anything to help then you need to get on the app on your phone the meta app and you need to work with the app to get your controllers fixed if that all fails then you need to reach out to tech support these are all the steps that you can use to get to that step hopefully just restarting your controllers will work but if it doesn't and all the other tests fail and you figure out what the problems were then if everything fails then you got to reach out all right you got to reach out all right and a little booster if you didn't see the other video you can always stretch this screen in the corner and I'm just going to give a little reminder in this one, even though this video is not about this. The way you do that is you come over here to your quick settings. The way you get your screen big, just as a little reminder, a little pop-up reminder from a past video. You hit switch view, and it makes it the small screen. You hit switch view again, makes it the big screen. And then you can stretch it when it's big. So when it's big, you just stretch it. And I'll just do little reminders occasionally just so you can see something from the past in case you never learned that before. All right, but that's just a nice video. If you want to go check out the whole video to learn the whole thing, you can, but you don't have to watch my videos. That's why I give it to you now. It's not about getting popular. It's not about getting famous. It's just about helping somebody out. And if you're my brother and sister, for real, like in Christ, my brother and sister, for real, then I love you guys. If you're not, I love you too, for real, and I'll be praying for all of you. Right now, I'm just, uh, I think I just love you, and I just want you to know, all right? That's how I feel. So let's do this. It's your boy, Mesha Kaidan, and I am out of here. Later, y'all.